Okay, in this video, uh, this is part two of solving two-step equations. And uh, we're going to go through a few examples, and I hope you find this helpful. So to begin with, uh, over here we have 3x, three, three three, uh, positive 3x, three minus 5 equals 7. And we want to find out what number is uh, equals x. What, what is x? Uh, to make the left side of this equation balance with the right side. Uh, since we already have equal, we already know it's balanced some kind of way, we just don't know uh, what the value is for x. So that's what we need to find out. Uh, so we know that whatever we do to the left side, um, we're going to also have to do to the right side. And we also know that in order to start to move values on e each side of the equation or to, to get x by itself, sometimes we refer to that as isolate the variable. Uh, we need to do the inverse operation of what's happening now. So, right now, x is being multiplied by 3, and then the total of this, uh, 5 is being subtracted from the total of this. So in order to undo that, we have to work backwards. We need to first add 5 to get 3x by itself. So we're going, uh, the inverse operation of minus 5 is plus 5. So we're going to add 5. And we know that if we add 5 to the left side, we need to add 5 to the right side. So we're going to go ahead and add 5 here. Okay. And so that will end up canceling. Uh, negative 5 and positive 5 end up canceling each other out. We're going to add 5 here too. So we see that this cancels itself out. Um, we still have a positive 3x over here that we have to get to in a second. And over here now, we have a total of 12. 7 plus 5 was 12. Positive 12. So now that we have 3x equals 12, and we still want to find out what x is, we need to divide both sides by the inverse operation of times 3 is divided by 3. So we're going to take 3x divided by 3, and that just gives us x. And 12 divided by 3, and that gives us 4. And you can see that here. We divided this uh, into thirds. And this into thirds, we would get x equals 4. Now, in order to check this, we need to take what we, what we think x is and put it back into the original equation. So I'm going to say 3 times 4 minus 5 should equal 7 if we did it correctly. Order of operations, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 minus 5 equals 7. And that's true, 7 equals 7. So, uh, no, no, we're going to give up. 7 equals 7. So that means that we know that x equals 4 was the correct answer. Okay, let's try another one. Here we have negative 2x. Minus 12 equals negative 2. Okay, so somehow these are equal. Uh, we need to figure out what x is. So x is right now being multiplied uh, by negative 2. And then the total of that, uh, 12 is being subtracted from the total of negative 2 times x. And somehow that equals negative 2. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is the inverse operation of minus 12 is plus 12. Okay, so I don't have enough squares here, but picture 12 yellow squares. Those would cancel, make zero pairs with these 12 negative uh, red squares. 
So the, the 12 and the 12 would cancel. And then if I were to take 12 squares on this side, we can see that this would form, these two and these two would form a zero pair. And then we're left with positive 10. So negative 12 plus 12 was zero. We're just going to bring down the negative 2x, and negative 2 plus 12 gives us 10. Okay, now, um, we have negative, x is being multiplied by negative 2. The inverse operation of um, times negative 2 is divided by negative 2. So that's what we want to do. We want to divide by negative 2. And we know that if we do it to the left side, we need to do it to the right side. So if we divided it by 2, we could see, if we divided it by positive 2, we could see that negative x equals positive 5. We just split this in half. That's divided by 2. Um, we're divided by negative 2, so this is going to, uh, basically, if we divide it by 2, we would get what we had here. If we divide it by negative 2, this is going to flip. So negative 2 divided by, uh, negative 2x divided by negative 2 is positive x. Do you remember negative divided by negative is positive? And then positive 10 divided by negative 2 gives us a positive, or I'm sorry, uh, positive 10 divided by negative 2 gives us a negative 5. So positive x should equal negative 5. Now, we need to check our answer the same way we did last time. We're going to plug it in. Negative 2 times negative 5 minus 12 should equal negative 2. So if we follow the order of operations, negative 2 times negative 5 is 10. 10 minus 12 somehow should equal negative 2. And sure enough, 10 minus 12 is negative 2 equals negative 2. We got it correct. This was the correct answer. x equals negative 5. If we made a mistake and we said, oh, I think it's 5, somehow we got positive 5, we could check. Positive 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Negative 10 minus 12 would be negative 22. Negative 22 does not equal negative 2, so we would find out that positive 5 was not the correct answer, and then we'd have to rework it to get the correct answer. But we got negative 5, so that was correct. Now, the last one I'm going to do is um, 1 third x plus 1 equals negative 5. Okay, so it's kind of difficult to model 1 third x uh, with the, the algebra tiles, but it's the same principle. Another way to say... Um, x times one-third, we could say uh, x divided by three. If you, if you can see how that would be x over one, you multiply it out. So this is, this is x uh, one-third times x, or x times one-third, and here we have x divided by three. It essentially means the same thing. Uh, plus one equals negative five. So first, x is being divided by 3, and then 1 is being added later. In order to reverse that, we need to subtract 1 from both sides. All right? And if we subtract 1 minus 1 is 0, so we're still left with x divided by 3, and that equals negative 5, and negative 1 is negative 6. So now, since x is being divided by 3, in order to... Uh, do the inverse operation of divided by 3. We're going to multiply by 3. 3 over 1 is another way of saying that. Those cancel. We have x equals negative 18. x equals negative 18. Let's check to see if that's correct. Uh, 1 third times negative 18 plus 1 equals negative 5. Negative 18 times 1 third, or divided by 3, however you want to say. Negative 6 plus 1 equals negative 5. 
negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5, so negative 5 equals negative 5, and this is the correct answer. That was a lot of uh, work and talking. I hope you can rewind it or uh, step back and watch again if you need to and pause where you need to, uh, but I hope you did find it helpful, and as always, thank you for watching.